Hello everyone, my name's Giselle and you might have noticed that I haven't uploaded in like a month! <laughs> that is because I have been re-watching Fairy Tale, which was the first ever anime I watched and so it's super super nostalgic and today I thought it would be fun to redesign some of the characters. Um, I love Fairy Tale's character designs, I think they're always super silly or pretty depending on the character, so this isn't supposed to be fixing or anything, it's just, you know, if I design them. Lucy Hartfilia. Okay, first of all is Lucy Hartfilia. She's the main character, the best character, and also literally me. Um, her magic is super, super cool. As a kid, I really wanted the like Amazon key set that's like a replica of her keys. Um, but when I asked my mom, she obviously said no because it was like a million gajillion dollars. So I didn't get it for years and years and years. And then my last birthday, I turned 19 years of age and I got gifted it and it was the best gift ever. It's so awesome. Um, I'll put a photo on screen. I, I love it. Um, I've also recently started a Lucy figure set, but I'm one figure in, so I can't really call it a collection yet, um, but it will be a collection. It will. Um, I love Lucy. <laughs> She's awesome. Uh, anyways, onto the character. The first uh, big change I made was her body type. Uh, Fairy Tale pretty famously uses a very similar body type for all the female characters. Um, I'm not going to get too into any of that uh, today, but I did decide to change Lucy's because throughout the show, there's, first of all, there's like a lot of people who make mean jokes at her about being bigger, despite her having the same model as the other girls. But second of all, um, there are just points where it's like not even in a mean way, people just bring up the fact she's a bit heavier. So. Um, you know, I did want to include that, so I gave her a bit of a stomach, and because of that stomach, I feel like her, uh, clothes are even more fitting. I kept the same general theme of her clothes, where it's like a cropped jacket with a mini skirt, because that just feels, like, important. I don't know why. I think it's important to her, like, I don't know. It just felt right in my head. I couldn't change it. Um, what I did change, however, is I wanted to put more emphasis on the leather. Um, I've always felt that when I looked at her character, her boots feel really random and I know she has her belt it just doesn't feel like spread out enough color wise and I love to spread out all the colors so I decided to make her jacket brown leather her belt brown leather and her boots brown leather and then I brought in purple for her shirt and underskirt um, I did that because all the other main four kind of have their own colors you know Natsu has pink as has red gray has blue and so I wanted her to have something different um, and hers just felt the least important, like she didn't really seem to have any connection to the colour blue. So, grey one, he's getting blue, she's purple now. Uh, I also gave her a kind of like royal looking choker with the little, uh, you know, side profile portrait thing in it. And then I kept her pigtails, but I just made them a little more ribbony. And I added, uh, what's it called? Ring uh, curls? Uh, curl rings? Ringlets! I added ringlets for her little strands because that also felt more royal and kind of hinted to her family. Um, overall, I didn't change too much. I just kind of made like minor adjustments, but I love uh, this design. It's probably my favorite <laughs> of the designs I do for this video. I just think it's cute. Um, okay. Canal Berona. Next up is Kana Alberona. I didn't think much of her at first, like any of us said, for the first like 125 episodes, she is not super important. Uh, but then when they do go into her backstory and stuff, I it made me emotional. I thought it was so sweet. Um, <laughs> I think she's a really cute little story and I appreciated it. I do see people saying it's like crammed in, but I don't think it is. I think we just didn't get a good look at Kana and then we did. And it just happened to not start at the beginning of the story and that's fine. An issue I do have with Kana, however, is her bag. You might not know what I'm talking about immediately. I'll put it on screen. What is that? Okay, her best friend, Livy McGarden, has blue spiky hair and an average head shape. Do you want to explain to me why her bag is a Livy head shaped blue spiky fur thing? It looks like she's carrying around her best friend's head. That is crazy. First time I saw it, I could not stop pointing it out. Oh, for this rewatch at least. I kept pausing and going, what is that? Why is she doing that? And even when I realized it was not Livy's head, I just thought, what kind of friend does that? 
If I went to hang out with my friends one day and they had a my head shaped bag with my hair on it, scary never talking to them again. So I changed that up. I can accept that Kana likes fur. I gave her a fluffy little bag. It just doesn't have to be the shape, color, and size of her best friend's head. That's crazy. Um, I also kept the like capri pants. Something I really love about Fairy Tail is the way they combine like kind of modern, or f more modern fashion <laughs> with uh, fantasy. I think it's so cool. So I kept her capris. Um, I just made them a little more fantasy-ish by adding a bunch of jewelry. I tried to emphasize gold a bunch in her design. Um, I didn't put her tarot cards anywhere <laughs> because I feel like those can just go in the bag. Um, and then for her shirt, I wanted it to still have the same like kind of cropped jacket look. Fairy Tail uses it a lot, it's why Lucy always has it, also has it, but I wanted it to be a little bit different, so I made the jackety part sheer, and I made it match the, the little flowy under bits, because I wanted to incorporate some like beaded looking patterns. Um, I don't know, I feel like Kana just fits like jewelry and beads and like, you know, shiny things. <laughs> and I love how it turned out. Um, if you saw her side profile, she'd have a claw clip right now. <laughs> I hope I communicated that well, I'm not sure. I feel like it kind of looks like I just gave her spikes in her head. But aside from that, I like her design. Um, <laughs> yeah, there she is. Mira Jane Estros. Mira Jane! Yay! I love Mira Jane. Um, there's a lot of people that like to make fun of the anime trope of like, she's so sweet and cute, and then when she's evil, she's really evil. And I know, I know that people do it all the time, and I know that you're probably bored of it, but I find it really cute. I enjoy when she switches into her devil form, and it's like, whoa, what the heck? Is that even Mary Jane? Or when they go to her when she was younger and she's all emo, and they go, whoa, what the heck? Is that even Mary Jane? I love that. That's so awesome. Um, and so I wanted to really emphasize her like cutesy girliness here I guess. Um, the first thing I thought about is like collared shirts. Um, <laughs> so I gave her a little collar but then I also didn't want to give her a complete button up shirt because I feel like showing off her shoulders a bit felt more modelly. Um, so I made it just like a little accessory thing. Um, I also tried to emphasize lace a lot with her apron and I changed her dress from just a normal sundress to an actual barmaid dress because that's when we see her most of the time, she's working a bar. I feel like she should have an apron. Um, <laughs> the shoes are also totally inspired from Final Fantasy. If you're into Final Fantasy, you understand. Um, I just wanted some slouchy leather boots. Um, <laughs> I kept her color palette. It's pink and white. I actually really struggled. Um, I don't normally use white in my drawings or my character designs. And so I really didn't know how to... Um, I guess distinguish it from the background and I ended up having to switch it to a different background. It was just crazy, I don't normally have to do that. So it was a lot of extra brain power on my part. Um, you're welcome. Her hair, holy moly. I've heard people talk about this and I agree. What is up with her hair? Why does she do that? When I first watched Fairy Tail, I thought that she was tying up that little thing at the front because she was growing out her bangs. And I told my friends that when I recommended Fairy Tail, I said, don't mind Mary Jane, she's growing out her bangs. You know, I've grown out a pixie cut before. I understand what it's like. You have to have some whack hairstyles in between before it's grown out, but no. Because this show takes place over a pretty long span of time and her hair stays the same. The little strand doesn't even get any longer. She's not growing that out. She likes it. And she actively cuts it to be like that. Is my feeling. Also, when she transforms into a devil, she has longer hair there. So she can just grow it with her takeover magic. What ifs? I'm not gonna get too into it. I'm not gonna get too aggressive with you guys. But I think that's crazy. Instead of that, I decided to give her some little like new girl hipstery bangs, some side bangs, because I thought that if they're kind of swept to the side, when she transforms into a devil, I can let them come down and be like emo bangs. Or well, not emo, not fully emo, just kind of like edgier, you know? Um, and then I obviously gave her a little bow tie in the top of her head. I just felt like that played into the cutesiness of it. And I gave her a cross, which I'll explain with the she devil design because it makes more sense there. But remember the cross. Bring it into your brain. She devil. She devil. Omg, omg. Who could have guessed I'd do she devil? <laughs> okay. Um. So I. Okay. At the start, I'm gonna be nice. At the start of the video, I said that I love fairy tales designs. 
And that's true, but I don't like the She-Devil design. I think it's crazy. And I think we can all agree that I th with that. I think we're all strong enough to understand that She-Devil's design is insane. I'm still not going to call this fixing it because, you know, person who made fairy tales a professional artist and I'm a little YouTuber. <laughs> um, but I did make it more to my tastes. Um, I decided instead of just going with like a general devil theme, because that's pretty vague, to switch over to gargoyle specifically. Um, they're still linked to religion and I felt like it fit Mary Jane because the whole point of gargo gargoyles is that they, you know, look over and kind of defend a church, right? So I thought it would make sense for Mary Jane since she kind of looks over and defends fairy tale. You know, she's not Markarov, she's not like the leader of it, but she's definitely always sitting there watching and she's very powerful. And I felt like that kind of like, you know, that staring powerful figure, it fit her. Um, I did like that in her She-Devil design, she had those big chunky hands. Um, if you have seen my OCs, you'll know I love some big chunky hands. You'll know I love some twisted up anatomy. Um, so I enjoyed that. I kept that. I gave her more gargoyle-ish legs. Also, <laughs> I did emphasize the crazy fairy tale woman body proportions for this form. I feel like, okay, here's my thinking. When they were coming up with a she-devil design, they were not thinking female devil. They were not thinking devil who happens to be a woman. They were thinking hot devil. <laughs> they were thinking sexy devil. And so I had to make her sexy still. I had to. Um, <laughs> so I gave her some stockings and like a gothy, uh, what's it called? A gothier cross than her other one. Um, I feel like it's cute. It's pretty simple. I didn't want to go too overboard. I also added lace because I feel like that adds to the religious themes, which in fairy tale, not a lot of the characters are religious, or at least they don't talk about it. Mary Jane and her family, they actually do actively talk about like going to the church um, at one point. I won't go too into it because I don't want to like ruin it if this is going to be the reason that you watch fairy tale. But you know, the religious imagery made sense there. Um, I did think about not giving her wings, but then I realized she'd just kind of be transforming into this big rocky thing. It kind of needed to have some abilities. Um, yeah, this was super, super fun. I liked it. You can see her emo hair coming in. Um, I did kind of struggle though because I wanted to keep it relatively black and white and it was kind of hard to shade because I normally shade with very bright colors but I think I figured it out in the end. And here's my she-devil design. <laughs> I think it's super cute. I like all the designs I did for this. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Also, before you ask, I will be doing Natsu, Grey, Urza and Happy in the future so don't even bring it to me. Don't even bring that to me. I'm serious. I'll, I'll get you. Goodbye.